Hi guys, it's Sarah. I'm back with another video and today I was planning on just talking about the new Pokemon game. That was the reason why I did the art, but now that all these YouTube problems are surfacing, I wanted to talk about it and give my input on it. So um, if you want to put me on in the background, you can. Um, so there's just been a lot going on. Um, this is going to be a little bit longer of a video because I have to explain this all. And I'll leave other people's videos down below too that have touched on this topic. I got information from those people and I actually did some research on my own. So I'm just going to tell you what I know of as of right now and what I've experienced with my channel personally and just what is happening going forward. So apparently the FTC, which is um, basically a branch of the government, fined YouTube over $160 million for violating COPPA, which is, um, from my understanding, it's like children's like rights and like protection, I guess. Um, so what was happening was kids were using their parents' YouTube accounts and then like sometimes you get like targeted ads like if you look up something on Amazon or look up something on Google, you might see an ad for it on YouTube. That's just how they collect data. Um so I guess people were mad that their that their kids' data was being collected and so this is where this whole thing came about. Um it just seems kind of weird because there's YouTube Kids which is for people under 13 which is what kids are supposed to be using for YouTube and you know if they're on regular YouTube that I feel like that really shouldn't be anyone's fault except for the parents so the whole big thing with this is that with like YouTube creators like me even though I'm like very 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 small on the spectrum I mean this this affects everyone so if your content is or video is deemed as for kids it's going to lose the comment section there's going to be no ads on it there's going to be no info cards no end screens no stories they can't go on the community tab uh there's going to be no notification bells and the video cannot be saved to watch later or saved to playlist so the whole thing is youtube is basically starting this now where they're having the AIs, the artificial intelligence, um, scanning videos. And what they're doing is if something has like bright colors or like a cartoon character or, or just something, anything that could appeal to kids, it could be, I even read gaming videos, even like slime videos, art videos, craft videos, anything that they could see that could be directed towards kids or could be attracted by kids is going to have all of those um, things happen to the video. So like I said, no comments, no ads, no no, um, no community tab for the channel, no notification bell, no save uh, to watch later. So that whole thing is going to affect a lot of people, mainly people that make money off of YouTube. I don't make any money off of YouTube and I'm angry because this whole thing is supposed to be like a community and if you take away the comment section people can't communicate and it really sucks for the people that have this as their job that this is like their livelihood and this is how they pay the bills and this is how they like get food on the table it really sucks for them and the process has already started apparently it's going to go into effect um, in January of this upcoming year, so January 2020. So the whole, like, this whole thing is starting now. They're already starting to flag videos as for kids or not for kids. And if your video could potentially be, like, marketed towards kids, they're already flagging it. You're going to lose the comments, everything for that video. And then it won't even come up in the search bar for some reason, um, so this whole thing is just really kind of out of control, 
to say the least. Um, I even checked my channel. If I go, you can do this on your channel as well. If you go to your channel, you sign in, and then you go to you, um, YouTube Studio, and you click on your videos, it's going to have this little column where it says visibility. And so I'm looking at mine right now, and there's... Most of them say public, but then a couple of, well, more than a couple of them say public, and then in parentheses, made for kids set by YouTube. So the AIs are already scanning videos. So the first one I see is the Winx Club um, drawings that I did. And that I understand because it's kind of like a kid's... Um, franchise, but uh, adults love it too. I mean, there's people that were children when it first came out, and they're adults now too, so uh, I mean, I kind of get that, but at the same time, it's kind of like a gray area. I feel like a lot of this is going to be a gray area. Um, I'm going through my videos right now. I'm going to see what else was affected. Um, for some reason, my cheap art supply challenge, the first one I did, got flagged to be under made made for kids which my content is for everybody it's not just for kids it's for anyone that's interested in art oh here's another one this goes back to the colorful thumbnails thing my acrylic painting that I did for the pastel desert that got flagged for kids and I don't understand like I get their bright colors but I mean anyone could like bright colors another one of mine my a sketchbook tour got flagged um my Miraculous Ladybug got flagged. I understand that because it's like a kid's like franchise. But the sketchbook tour, I don't understand. Um, me going through my old artwork, that one got flagged for kids. One, another sketchbook tour got flagged for kids. And uh, it's just like really disheartening because I really wanted to like... Oh, here another sketchbook tour got flagged. I really wanted to give YouTube a good shot. And now this is like discouraging me. And discouraging a lot of other people from even staying on this platform. Another sketchbook tour. Um, coloring an anime chibi that got flagged as for kids. What else? My Copic Speed Paint of Blair from Soul Eater. Which a lot of anime is rated 14 and up. A lot of that stuff has a lot of mature, th mature themes. And a lot of mature things going on that you should not be watching. Anime is not for kids. Anime is for teenagers and adults because of the mature things and sometimes there's like sexualized content and like that's not for kids, you know? So that that I don't think would be a kid video. People like kids should not be watching Soul Eater, but whatever. Um one of the other things that got flagged was my Crayola challenge when I drew Sakura Mikyu. So I think in total about a tenth of my videos got flagged as for kids and that kind of makes me upset because then no one can comment on the video, no one can save it to watch later, no one can like, you know, like no one can like just do anything with it. It's gonna be like not, I don't know, it's just gonna be like not able to, um like be commented on or anything and the I mean that's going to affect the video in itself as well it's going to mess with the analytics because a lot of times the comments the engagement on the video is what really like sets it apart and really um like affects the ratings so a lot of things for YouTube the more likes the video gets the more it gets shared the more comments the video gets the more it's, get, it's getting shared uh, especially like if I reply back, that's that's it getting shared as well because it counts as like um, what's it called? It counts as like engagement, you know. So not only that, but it's like if someone comments on my video, I want to be able to comment back. Like a lot of my family watches my videos, you know, and a lot of my friends watch my videos, and if I can't comment back to them, I mean that's that's kind of messed up. And I'm I'm mad about this, and I don't even make money off of YouTube at all, so I just really feel like this is going to affect a lot of people, and I feel like it's just not a good thing. I feel like this is, if anything is going to make YouTube tank, I feel like this is what's going to make it tank, because a lot of people 
are going to be discouraged from making videos now like I am. I'm I'm afraid now like what do I do? You know? It a lot of a lot of this is a gray area, you know? A lot of this could go either way. Could, I mean, this could appeal to everyone, but a lot of it could be like they could deem it as for kids and you can appeal it you can veto it and say no this isn't but you have to categorize it right and if they say no it is then you can get fined you can potentially get fined apparently i saw that they can find you up to forty two thousand forty two thousand dollars i can't even talk because i'm like i'm upset <laughs> um you can be fined up to forty two thousand dollars which is insane because that's that's more than like some people make in a year that's more than what i make in a year i mean that's that's messed up you know so I just don't get where they're going with this. I, I feel like this whole thing is just like being like blown out of proportion. And it's like, where do I go from here? Do I make like my thumbnails very vague? Should I try to change some of the thumbnails that already got flagged for being for kids and seeing if that helps or changes anything? Or is it still going to be the same? I don't know. Like, what do I do going forward? Do I make... Do I make the thumbnails very inconspicuous? Do I make it like all text? Do I make it like it's only showing a portion of the character with like some text over it? Or do I like make it kind of like washed out looking and not bright? I mean, I don't know. I mean, and then what, like what? That's not going to drive people to like my channel. You know what I mean? I really wanted to give this a good shot. I really wanted to maybe one day get like a silver play button, but this is like discouraging me from that. And this is discouraging a lot of people. This is, I mean, this is a big deal. This is a lot of people's livelihood. This is what people rely on. This is what a lot of people's jobs are. And I didn't realize until recently that gaming channels are going to be affected by this too. And there's so many of those. There's so many gaming channels, you know? I mean, gaming channels, art channels, crafty channels, slime slime video channels, anything that could be directed as potentially kids watching it is going to be affected by this. And not only that, but like the people that do have YouTube as a job, they're not going to be able to have the ad revenue on those videos if YouTube deems it as for kids, you know? And you're not going to be able to do sponsorships on those videos either if YouTube deems it as for kids. So... I mean, I don't know what to do going forward. Like, like I said, do I make the thumbnails very vague? Like, like if I'm drawing a mermaid, do I just show like <laughs> part of the drawing and just the mermaid's tail with some text over it? Or like, what do I do? I mean, do I risk it and try to keep going with this and trying to be careful about what's in the thumbnails? Do I try to fix the ones that already got flagged for the thumbnails and seeing if that helps do I like go to twitch I mean I don't even go on twitch I don't even know like how to use it to be honest I know a lot of it is like live streaming and maybe I would love to try that you know but it's like this was like my thing and I'm sad now I feel like I don't know I feel like this is like a really dark age for YouTube and I understand why people were upset that their kids data was being collected or whatever but I mean that's why there's YouTube kids it's for kids you know it's not someone else's responsibility to watch your child that's that's on the adult that should be on the parent if they're not doing their job you know so, I mean, what does this mean going forward? Should I go to Twitch? Should I start, like, a Patreon and then a certain tier can get the videos? I mean, I don't want to have to, like, do that. I mean, I thought about Patreon before, and I did a poll on Instagram, and some people said they would, but does that really mean that they would? I mean, would they really, like, fork up money to watch some videos? I mean, I don't know. People say things, and then, like, they don't, like, go through with it, you know? I mean... It's just, it's, like, a really gray area right now, and I don't know, like, what to do, what to say, what to think, or anything like that, but apparently you can sign a petition, and apparently you can send a comment to the FTC directly, which is the government uh, section that's responsible for this whole thing. 
So I'll leave those links down below if you guys want to let your voice be heard or like want to even just sign the petition. I signed the petition already because I just, I don't know. I feel like, and a lot of things too, it's like it's, there's, the rules for what could be child appealing is so vague. It could be anything from bright colors, which I've seen in my, like the things of, of mine that have gotten flagged. And I mean, bright colors, that's gotten flagged too. I mean, uh, like characters, anime characters got flagged. I mean, I don't know. It's just so weird. And I, I like I said, I really feel like little kids should not be watching anime. A lot of stuff is really mature and they should not be watching that. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to do going forward. It's, I don't know. It's just a scary thought, I guess. Because I know, like, if people keep feeling discouraged like this and things do get kind of blown out of proportion, there's not going to be people that want to keep coming back to YouTube. And I feel like that'll be YouTube's demise if they don't want to try to help the creators. I mean, if people are discouraged, they're not going to want to make videos. And then that also means that YouTube isn't making money off of their, off of other people's videos, you know, because with YouTube as it is now, as a creator, you get like a certain percentage of the ad revenue. And if people aren't going to want to make videos anymore, that's going to affect YouTube as a platform directly. So I don't know what's going to happen. I know it's not YouTube's fault from what I've been hearing and what I've been seeing. Um, it's not YouTube's fault. It's the FTC that is blowing this out of proportion. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what to do from now on. I don't know what I should do. I'm kind of scared now because, I mean, like the last video I did, that was, I mean, a frozen art kit is like anything with Disney going to get flagged. I mean, uh, some of these videos that I had that were just anime characters, some of those got flagged. So, I mean, I don't really know, like, what to do. I don't want to quit because I love making videos. I love, like, putting them together. And I've always said I like making something out of nothing. That's, like, my thing. I like making videos. I like filming it. I like editing it and putting it together, even though I'm not the best at it. But I like it. You know, I don't want to stop doing something I like. I don't want to stop a hobby I like because the platform sucks. Like, it just, I don't know. It's like I said, like, what do I do from here? I know I've said that probably like 20 times. I'm sorry. But it's like, what do I do from here? You know, like, I I don't know. It's really disheartening. It really is. It's, I don't know. It's. I don't know. It's just so different from what, like, YouTube used to be, you know? And I feel like if these things do go into effect, a lot of things are going to change, you know? And so I just want you guys to know if some of the comments get disabled on some of my videos or something like that, um, it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. I I don't know what to do from now on. Do I private those videos that got flagged? Do I change the thumbnails, like I said, and see if that helps? I mean, I don't know. It's such a vague topic right now, you know? And that's another thing, too. The FTC didn't give, like, specifics. They're just giving scenarios of what could be, like, kid attractive, you know? And I just feel like that's not fair either because there's adults that like gaming. There's adults that like um, Pokemon, like this drawing. There's adults that like anime and cartoons. I mean, I love all that stuff, you know? And I don't know. Like I said, I'll, like some of it isn't even aimed towards children. People, like children just stumble upon it. And that's another thing too. Kids have a lot of interests. They don't have just one. They have a lot because they're so like, willing to learn and they want to absorb all this information at once, I mean, how could you really say something's for kids? Like, oh, this is just for kids. There's adults that like that too, you know? And kids will watch pretty much anything. So I don't understand how that's fair either. You know, I just, 
I don't know. I I don't know. I'm at like a loss for words. I just feel like this is so insane and I know people will be like, oh, just put your whole channel as for kids. No, because then you're going to lose everything for every single video and you're going to lose your community tab for your channel and you're going to lose like everything, you know? It's just, I don't know, it's really sucky and I just, I want your guys' thoughts down below on like what I should do because I, I don't know, I'm kind of scared. I am because I can't afford like a, a fine like that and I I don't know, like I don't want to quit, you know, because I like it, but if I gotta tread lightly, it's gonna be kind of hard to keep up with it, you know? Uh, I don't know. Just, uh, I don't know. Just let me know your thoughts down below. I'll leave the links to all that stuff down below. I want to quickly talk about the art. Um, this was based off of my character from uh, my sword, not sword, sorry, <laughs> my Pokemon Shield playthrough. This is what my character looks like. I try to make it as close to me as possible. Um, and just a couple of the Pokemon that I caught during the, the first couple of routes. Um, it came up, it came up pretty decent, I think. I, this is the first time I've like colored the whole page of something in forever. I don't ever do that. Um, the grass was really hard for me in the beginning because I used a lighter color and then I used the darker color to go over it to try to give it even tone and I barely had any blue left for this guy so I just kind of went with it drew some clouds in blue and just rolled with it so it came out pretty decent for the most part but yeah I just I just wanted to talk about it please let me know your thoughts down below on anything I've said or commented on uh check out the links down below if you want to help and I want to thank you for watching this video and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.